I must say I'm really happy and delighted to see that some of my videos um, have really had a lot of attention. And one of those that have come up is power strips. And so um, I thought I would show you one of our recommended power strips. Um, this is actually made by wire mold. Um, it's called the L10320. And the reason we like it is because of the way it's constructed. Um, it has reasonable quality um, sockets. It has no power switch. It has no um, surge protection at all. It's got a really respectable power cord, um, which is 14 gauge. Um, it is wired internally with 14 gauge as well. And these little puppies are absolutely ideal um, for audio products, um, some video, uh, that have really well-built uh, and regulated power supplies. Because what happens is when you start using uh, power strips with surge protection or any other features, power switches, it actually degrades the sound. Uh, and sometimes very, very significantly. And we're not talking, previously I pointed out these little $10 widgets uh, but some of these uh, products can cost hundreds of dollars, and, and they actually make things worse. Um, I love doing the demonstration in the store between something as simple and graceful as this um, versus uh, what appears to be uh, much more robust uh, and having this surge protection and power switch and all sorts of things to let people know how badly the sound is going to get wrecked. Um, the sequence in which you plug things in can vary system to system. Um, we recommend starting out with what is the most important in the system, which is the source. Now, a turntable can sit anywhere down here because that's not, the motor speed is not really a source. But we start talking about CD players, Blu-ray players, um, preamps and such. Typically, they'll get loaded early on because once their signal quality is degraded, the only thing that an amplifier can do later on is effectively reproduce with more current the inaccuracies that it's received. Um, on occasion, however, you may find that the power amplifier being first, which is kind of the traditional thought, make sure the amplifier gets all the current it needs, actually works out better. So this requires a little bit of experimentation. Um, and that's okay, I mean, if you're really serious about what you do. Um, we've got pictures of what one, one of these looks like internally, um, but we carry these in the store here at Audible Elegance. Um, we're in Cincinnati, Ohio, um, and we, we try to keep these in stock, and um, they're one of my favorites, and this goes back for about 30 years. Um, so I thought you'd like to see um, the actual power strip we like to, to recommend. Now, if you're in need of um, surge suppression, um, because you have very fluctuating electric and you don't want to damage your equipment. I understand that and it's a good thing to get. Um, but if you don't need that, and as I said earlier, it's not going to do anything against lightning, then simply get one of these.